Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker and today we're going to go over the 2020 Wolf Creek 850 truck camper from Northwood Manufacturing. This is a great all season truck camper. It doesn't have any slides, meaning you have full access to this truck camper. If you need to pull over to the side of the road, you can get to the bed, you can get to the refrigerator and you can get to the bathroom. Speaking of the bathroom, you'll see it's just a slider door, makes it nice and easy to climb up in there. Uh, right down underneath, you will see you have an entry light switch, also your power awning, and then an electrical outlet. You also have the little drop down steps here so you can climb up into the shower if you so choose. You will see the porcelain bowl in the toilet, making it nice and easy to clean. The sink, toilet paper holder, your hand wand here. And then you also have a mirrored medicine cabinet with some storage behind that a light, a vent, and then the big skylight. Now this is actually really important in this truck camper because when I stand in here, as you can see, that's what gives me the height. I'm six foot tall. I just about max this out. If you're, you're much taller, you're gonna have to bend down in here. But I do like this. It kind of gives you a nice view. You can actually see up on the roof, which is pretty convenient as well. You have a shower curtain in here so you can close off the door. And on this wall is the, uh, the hand towel ring. Now when I sit in here, you know, obviously this is a wet bath. You can see I actually have decent space. It is a little tight on my right hand side, but you have the counter over to the left you can kind of lean on. You have uh, enough leg room. You know, realistically, for being a truck camper, it's actually a pretty decent sized bathroom. When we come out of there, open this up, you'll see you have wardrobe hanging space. You actually have a couple different wardrobes in this particular unit. One here, a couple up front, I'll show you in just a moment. Roof mounted AC help keep things nice and cool. When we move up into the kitchen, Furion cooktop recessed with the glass cover. Just fold that up and back like so to access the three burners. Front one is high output. You'll see the backsplash on here, just a clear material, but that plastic makes it a lot easier to clean than the wallboard. Uh, underneath, you see an oven in case you wanna do some baking. And then you also have the pullout drawer here. You'll see you have three more drawers. So pretty decent storage space in the kitchen. You can see how far back those go. And quick and easy access to the outside. Plus underneath the sink, a little bit of storage there. You can actually probably fit a trash can. Sink top cover, so that way you can utilize the prep space. You actually, again, have a pretty decent sized kitchen prep space in this camper. You'll see the large round bowl and the high rise faucet. Over to the side, your main control panel is here, including your tank monitoring panel. Your thermostat up over to the side. You'll see the multimedia center here, uh, as well as the DVD player. You have your ZAMP solar controller there. This one does come with the solar panels. And then you will also see the electrical outlet over to the side there. Window, of course, and additional storage right up top next to the microwave and the hood. As we kind of start to shift toward the front, uh, I will say this has a countertop extension. It's tucked away in this wardrobe. We'll see that in just a minute. So if you want that extra countertop space, it is there. You have the window as well as the storage box right here. It's also important to note the water pump is located there. So if you need to access the water pump, it is quite easy to get to. The front, the bed itself, you have the queen size bed, storage on both sides. You'll see the storage here on this side, cubby hole underneath. Mounted to that is the TV that is a 12 volt TV. So that way you can just run it off the batteries. Windows on both sides, wardrobes up front. You have reading lights, electrical outlets, and USB port speakers up there. Also on the ceiling, you will see the uh, fantastic fan or max air fan. That works very, very well. It does a great job of getting some circulation through here if you don't want to run the AC. And then on this side, you will see again, more hanging space. Plus you have that countertop extension tucked away right there. Rounding out the kitchen is your fridge freezer unit. It is a Norcold unit. You'll see plenty of space there. You have a drawer right down below. This does flip up for some taller items and you have the drop down ice tray. Moving over to the side, you will see the bunk along the top. So if you open this up, you'll see storage. This is kind of the, the bunk uh, bed itself. You can push that back so you can utilize that as storage. Otherwise, if you want to drop the bunk down, I'll go ahead and demonstrate that real quick for you. Just undo the two locks here. There we go. This folds right down just like so. And as I said, you'll then take this piece of wood, kind of put that on there just like that. And then we'll take 
our little mattress here. So as you can see, it's not uh, you know something that would you really probably use for an adult, but if you have a kid that's going to be camping with you, it does make up a great extra space there. Uh, or if you just want to use it for storage, you know I have a lot of people that want to use their truck camper for hunting, and this does make for some great extra storage up here. You can kind of you know put your fishing poles or your rifles up there, whatever you need to. Um, it's just kind of a, a multi multi use bunk space. Right down underneath that, you will see a light, of course, and then a window. Your standard dinette, this also drops down into a sleeping space. You kind of utilize uh, this table space here, drops down. You have the, the uh, mattresses on the back. And then you will see right there, you drop down. So these legs are what actually make up the rest of the bed. You remove these legs, you put these legs in instead, and that's how you get that extra support. You also see the storage right there and then you have a cubby hole right over on this side. Now that we've seen the insides, take a quick look at some of the outside features on the 2020 Wolf Creek 850. One of the things I love about the Wolf Creek construction is the fact this is one piece fiberglass from the nose all the way down into the bulkhead. That means there aren't any seams, so less chance for any kind of water intrusion and that's a pretty big deal when you're talking about the front end of a truck camper. You'll notice the Rico Titan jacks, heavy duty 2,500 pound jacks. You have 20 bolts in all on each side, helping to make sure that those stay attached. They're not gonna tear out of the wall or anything like that, very secure. You'll notice right underneath, you have a spot to store your sewer hose. Making our way back a little bit further here, we'll come to the back side. So you have the power awning coming off the back, just nice and easy to use, touch a button to roll that out. Same thing to go right back in. The heavy duty fold down ladder so that way you can climb up onto the roof. Uh, up on the roof you'll kind of see the rack up there as well as your uh, solar panel up on the roof. You'll see the LED light right above the ladder helping to light up this back area. Right down here is your Cummins Onan LP generator. It looks like it's locked, forgot to unlock it, but that's a 2500 watt LP Jenny there helping to power everything inside the RV. I did unlock this compartment. Uh, you'll see that in the bumper you have storage running the entire length of it there. Your propane quick connect right underneath in case you want to do a little bit of grilling. You'll see you just have the single foldable step. Now this one does have the optional Fox landing, the same one that Arctic Fox uses. So if you want that, that is an option you can have on here. Outside electrical outlet, you have plumbing access there to your valves. And then as we come around to the other side, Again, you have more plumbing access. You also have access to your Rico Titan jack. So if you need to switch it into manual mode, that's where you will do it. You'll see your termination right down here. Two 20 pound propane tanks. There are those. And then your battery compartment right next door. Magnetic latch on that. Again, you can see the solar. So that way you're getting that trickle charge to your battery. If you have shore power, that's where you plug it in at. 30 amp right there. Your outside shower, you can see both hot and cold water access. If you need to fill the fresh tank, chances are you probably will. This is where you will do it at. And if you drop down underneath, you will see city water located here. This is that door I showed you when we were inside that gives you that access. You have uh, extra solar prep. So if you want additional solar, a portable panel, you can plug it in right there. You will also see satellite and TV hookups. All right, folks, and that wraps it up. Again, this is a 2020 Wolf Creek 850. If you're interested in this truck camper and you would like price and availability, simply click on the link in the description. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and let's go camping.